Hi my friend, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use multi-select in a list view in Flutterflow. So this feature is very important, so let's buckle up and get started. So here we have just a basic uh, project. So uh, so I have used this for uh, another tutorial, but uh, it doesn't matter uh, here. So in the first thing I'm going to prepare the design and the backend as well right so we are going to use some things so the first thing so we are talking about the select so for each product uh, one of the fields that we are going to need is the select right or selected right which is going to be a boolean easy it, it will be either selected or not uh, selected right so we can actually validate that and uh, we just need another thing that is going to be an app state uh, uh, variable so this is where we're going to be uh, actually pushing the documents that we have selected. So we can actually go and add uh, selected items and the selected uh, we are just going to be using their document reference. They are from products and they are on list. And the final thing we are going to be using is uh, the, the select mode. So if, if it is going to be a boolean, if it is true, then we can select. If it is not, then we cannot select. So uh, it's going to be a boolean. That is it. And this is actually the back end. So make sure you do this. And uh, of, of course, we need to make the changes uh, here. So uh, let's first open up this list view. Open up this container and you can see that we have a column and a row. So. Uh, all of that so the, uh, the the parent needs to be actually wrapped inside the row because we are going to be needing something here so that's going to be uh, a toggle icon so here it is so it's going to be something like that just put it on the other side and you can see here this is when it is checked and this which is when it is not checked so for now i'm not going to be changing the design the the thing that, that i care about is to show you the logic and here they told you the toggle value so when it is going to be on and when it's going to be off so it will depend on uh, one field that is going to be called selected so selected it will be like this non-selected it will be like this so this is pretty much the, everything you need to know about this toggle icon and uh, so uh, this will not actually be uh, used or seen all the time so let's actually keep that for later so now we j so when we so whenever you for example you are using to Microsoft to do list you select a bunch of uh, tasks you it something appears on the top which will allow you to either go out of the select mode and uh, just make everything unselected and one option is just to duplicate delete or something like that we, and but we are only gonna be using the deletion option right here so uh, we have the column we can add another kind of a, a container I will want to put it here on the top and name it selection so just to know what it is we can add a row uh, just like that and we can follow for the, the the container we can delete its dimensions so it can take the size of its children so for the row uh, we can add uh, like uh, an icon or button icon if you like but it's really it's really up to you so uh, we can come here and add uh, a button so the items are not appearing so because i have set zero i i wanted to make it like this not zero so this is how it should be so the button should say delete and this should be a clearing icon right so uh, it looks ugly it doesn't actually matter uh, whatsoever so uh, you know this is so for the column if you take a look at the column it is spacing things out and that is why this is in the middle and it does have to be like that so let's wrap these guys or the top guys are uh, sh actually should be uh, on the top let's put them in one group like just like that so this can stay on the top and uh, so this so now let's move on to conditional visibility so this does have to be always seen so <coughs> it will depend right i will come here and then i will say that uh, it will depend on uh, uh, the app stage so it is the select mode if it is on then it will show up if it is not on or it's if it is the false then it will not show up so let's select that and it will automatically be related to that back end uh, or uh, app stage right the same goes for uh, this one so it does have to be always there so only if we are selecting then it should appear so now uh, this is actually so we have prepared 
our stuff now we can move on to the next step and actually go in details to see what we do in the selection and let's talk about the logic right so let's move on to the next step but don't forget please if you like this video if you find it helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up so just take one second give it a thumbs up and let's move on to the next step so in this step what you are going to be doing here so uh, for instance you can hide this if you like and but we may want to keep it there right so now uh, the thing is that uh, we are going to be using this toggle icon we are going to come here to the actions or so maybe it's not the first thing that we need to do so the first thing so before talking about what this does and what this does and what this uh, actually does so this will not appear only so will appear only if we are out of the select mode right but how we can get into the select mode that is the question that you need to ask yourself so here uh so how do we go into a selection mode so by long press on a certain item so you can come here long press and add an action so when we are there we want to update the app stage which is select mode so we want to take make it uh set the value to true which is we are truly in that and the opposite thing can be done for this one so the icon so if we just on tap uh, on it to so just on tap we want to actually update the that particular app stage but this time we want to make it uh, set the value to false so uh, some of you may say that uh, well if uh, so let's say if we are already in the selection mode and if, if we long press on this so it is the same nothing will happen everything will stay the same so now uh, what will happen here is that uh, I have given actions to this one as well as this container. Now let's move on to this button or icon or toggle icon in a way. So uh, what it has to do. So here the actions are uh, a little bit weird because we only have one. And that's why we are going to be using the condition action because, because we are going to see it. If it is selected, then make it unselected. If it is unselected, then make it selected. And we only we this is our own option. So let's say if, for example, the selected field of that particular document was false. So if it is if it is like if it is equal to false. So uh, if it is false, then what we have to do? We we need to make it true. So update the document, the one that we are inside of, and update just the selected field, and add. Uh, so if it is equal to false they make it true so we can copy this piece on the other side but it's not going to be the same of course so if it is not false which is that if it is true they make it false right so uh, this is the only action that you need to do for the toggle icon now uh well it's not the only thing that we need to do but this is the basic thing that we need to do uh, but i'm going to show you how you can actually keep going and actually do that so this step is just for uh, dealing with this icon and the next step we're going to see how we deal with this uh, button right there so let's keep actually moving with this uh, toggle icon so here this is why we are going to be adding that particular document or the reference of that particular document to our uh, app state so we want to say update the app state this time we are going to be updating the this one and we want to be adding to the list so since we are selecting it we will be adding its reference to the list right and on the other hand we want to just copy this one paste it uh, right here and instead of uh, adding it this time we want we want to unselect it because as you can see here now we are turning turn the selected to false this is this is why it so that that is mean that we are we are unselecting that item so here we want to remove from list we want to remove that particular reference if there is any right so we can confirm now everything that was uh, actually uh, needed to be done with this talk icon we have done it so if there is anything that we can do it will be mentioned in this video so now let's move on to this uh, button and do something with it now actually let's uh, come to this button and now we want to be adding uh, something like a loop right so we want to open that and whenever we click on it we want to add uh, a loop so to add a loop to something like that and then remove that so just keep the loop so uh, there is one condition under which we will be actually running this loop so the condition is going to be uh, so i will say that if 
so first I'm gonna be saying that if the numbers of items that were selected was uh, for example was above one so or just one or above so it has to be so just the number of items because there are need there needs to be some items in that app stage for order to us to delete them right so we want to come uh, and say here it is going to be greater than or equal to one so at least one should be there so let's confirm that and uh, so this is the condition now what is the action that needs to be repeated while this condition is true so uh it is, so since this is a delete button so let's search for delete document so uh, we want to delete document now they are asking me for the reference so the reference is already in that selected items app state so he, so i will be deleting this but since it is a list we want to delete the first one right so just to delete the first one the loop will be repeated and you will be so repeat uh, deleting the first one again so uh, that so just uh, select item at index and uh, so it will be deleting the so uh, we are going to be deleting the first item and the w those that were below it will go up and we are going to again delete the first one so we are going to be always deleting the first one until we finish all of them right so we are can then confirm so now we are so this loop will be repeated so and if for example we had zero items in that list this loop will not run since the zero is actually smaller than one and this condition is not true so this action will not run so after we have deleted that uh, specific uh, uh, or that list of items we may want to actually just uh, go out of the select mode so we can you can do that by updating the app stage which is called select mode we want to turn it to false set the value to false right so this is all you need to do with that now let's actually talk about this icon so what it does it so it is a little complicated but it's it is worth actually doing so as you can see here it will be it will turn the select mode to false but there is another loop so for example so you may want you may have uh, selected these two items and you don't want to do anything so you change your mind you just want to go out of that so once you have once you have gotten out of the select mode you want to turn so all of the things that were selected needs to be unselected right needs to be transformed into unselected items because they, don't, they cannot stay selected so we can turn uh, all the selected stuff to uh, false right so to do that we are going to be uh so it is somehow the same action like this one or the loop so let's copy the loop so copy loop actions and we can come back here and add it here so we'll add the loop so here so the action is gone maybe everything is gone by the way so uh, like we, we have done nothing so anyway so we can go to the conditions and say that if the number of items was so there were some items there so their number was greater than uh, uh, one or greater than that so she's greater or equal to one so if that was true then we just want to actually update each one of them by going to the select mode or the select field of them of each document and turn it turning it to false right i'm gonna go to update document so so we want to update the first one in the list don't worry we are going to update all of them so we are we want to actually update the first one and the field that we need to update is not the name it is the selected and want to set it to false right by default it is there so now once we have updated the first one then we want to actually take it away from that list so it was updated then just take it to so the next one can take his place and then we can update it as the first one so let's actually come here and update the app state so we want to just take the first one out the app stage we want to first from this list we want to actually remove from list at indexed zero the first one so we have updated that one so let's remove it from the list so we can talk a lot we can actually go and uh, work on the next one right so this is what i have forgotten to add here so that's all so i so here when you delete the first one remove that reference from that selected items so the next one can take his place can take up his place so it will be uh, seen as the first one again so, you know so i hope that you have got the idea so here we want to just update 
the app stage again just like previously and we want to just update this one and remove from list at index and select the first one so just select the first one which is zero right so now let me explain it to you again so here we have deleted the first item so now it is deleted but its reference is still in the uh, in the list in, in this list so let's remove its list and once its reference was removed from this list the next one will take its place and which will uh, it will be deleted here and we are going to delete again his reference or its reference and you know it's a loop right so this is actually everything you need to do so now uh, if you actually have understood this then we are going to be validating our idea actually in the test mode so let's move on and check out how this project will look like in the test mode so now here we have uh, our uh, project so uh, there is no category or price but uh, what is important for us is to know or just to try to select so let's click here so a long press there and now if i click here now this one is selected this one as well is selected now let's actually try to delete them right now you see that it was deleted one after another and you know this is awesome so uh the, the, the deletion stuff is working so let me just see or click on this icon and see now it is uh, taking me out of that and the selection mode is working also this button is working i can click there it will not delete anything since nothing is selected and that is it my friend i hope i really hope that you have learned something valuable from uh, uh, this video i hope that you will enjoy uh, making this yourself on flutterflow and if you like my content and the effort i put in helping you learn uh, flutterflow as fast as possible and for free so uh, so consider supporting my work on coffee so you will find my page uh, in the first link in the description so go and check it out and i really appreciate your support and by supporting me you will be getting a lot of value from this channel and uh, you will be learning the flow as fast as possible so you can bring your ideas into life so thank you so much for watching and see you on the next video and don't forget to check out the link in the description